Hello friends, this is the last part where we had left our project. That is, we had created an employee class. We had provided parameters, that is, name and user ID. And we have what we had done is that we had created an object of employee, and we had returned that employee in the form of XML. As you can see, we had returned that employee in the form of XML. That is, name and user ID. And this is the employee. So what we are going to do in this um, video that we are going to create a list of employees so that can be fetched through a database or through a repository so we are here I'm not going to connect through our database but I will be getting certain data from a certain repository so I can assume that I'm I'm getting certain data from certain place that can be a repository so for that I'll be creating a class first let's create class then I will give the detail my repository I'm cl click repos. I'm doing my repos. Okay, I'm clicking on finish. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a list of employees, and this can be assumed as a kind of data getting from database, and then I'll be returning these rep repository data in in the front end in form of XML. So for that, let's first create a list list of employees. first list let's create employee call and what I'll be doing here I'll be importing this list from Java util and I'll be passing employees okay now it's working and uh, then I'll assign a function public and it will return the list of employees and I'll be saying like uh, get employee from repository from report and in this what I will do I will initialize three objects of employee employee e1 is equal to new employee similarly employee e2 is equal to new employee employee e3 is equal to new employee and suppose that I'm going to using this part and for employee e1 I'll be setting the properties of e1 e1 dot set name as summit e1 dot set set user id as 101 similarly for employee e2 set name as john and e2 dot set user id as 102 I will name this as e3 e3 dot set name as shane e3 dot set user id as 103 so what we have done here we have created a kind of default repository class this can be assumed as a source where we are fetching data and here in this data we are having three employees object and we are returning these three employees object object detail in the form of list and this list will be returned to the front end in the form of xml so let's return this list and i'll initialize imp call is equal to new array list array list and type will be employee and I will add these three objects in this employee e employee call dot add I am simply adding e1 
then e2 then e3 i have added three these three employees and i will return this this collection of employee so we have created three object and return the list of the employees and i will be fetching this employee here and i will initialize my repository my repos mr is equal to new my repos and in the place of this i will be returning list of employees so mr dot or simply write return mr dot get employees from repository from repos this fine and here i'll be returning list list of employee and so we are done with our part we have created an employee object and and we have created a repository where the details of the employee object are there this can be assumed as a certain source from where we are fetching the data and after fetching the data from that source that is repository that is mr we have fetched the data from this resource that is from my resource and we are returning this data in the form of xml so let's see whether this has been updated this has been reloaded so when i will hit enter in my url c we have got three different employees one employee second employee and third employee that is sumit john and shane in the form of a list so this can be assumed as a data coming from a repository thank you for watching the video